Now, reviewing a golf ball is often a difficult video to do, and often the opinions formed are very subjective. But what if I was to tell you that this golf ball in hand, in my opinion, is the best value for money in terms of performance, but also acts as an incredible training aid. love the way on that first grab that you sort of see it grip onto the turf now the first thing you need any golf ball to do if you're serious about playing this game is you need it to be a good performer in all areas so first of all we've got to look what does this thing do off the tee and i can report that this thing absolutely flies off the club face we can also report that in terms of consistency in both launch and uh, ball speed control and maybe more importantly the feel off this golf ball has been superb off every iron that I've hit over this past few days. Let's see what that one does. Same again, first little bounce, takes a bit of a check, hops forward and does exactly what the first ball did. What is that all about? It's about consistency, because also what you want your golf ball to do is the same thing every time in terms of the reaction that you get. So you can start to get a little bit of faith and that all important word, consistency. But that in itself is not enough. And where seed goes one step further is provide you with a ball that ticks all those performance benefits, but then acts as a real serious training aid. But I can honestly say, that I have never played any golf ball pretty much where I've said, oh my God, this ball is going slow off the driver face. It's spinning too much with my irons. Let's be honest, how many of us in terms of average golfers can see or tell that that is happening with any golf ball we play? So let's just assume that the SDX1 from Seed is a really good high performing ball in terms of the kind of things spin launch ball speeds all those things we've suggested but the one thing that stands it apart is its unique alignment aid so this is the sdx1 and they call it the jack and it's very obvious if anyone's familiar with the game of bowls then uh, this is very much what you'll see on a bowling ball i don't know what you refer to them as um, and it's a very unique marking that is really really interesting now let's be honest, yet again, there are plenty of golf balls out there that have developed alignment aids in this last few years. It's become really, really popular. I think there's some issues with some and others are very, very effective. But I think this falls into that very effective category. So when you place your ball down to whatever, if we were aligned up to the hole that I'm looking at right now behind the camera, that's where it sits. It's very strong alignment aid, it also narrows the ball down. It's a strange thing that I'm going to struggle to uh, explain. Hopefully from the overhead camera you're looking at now, you can sort of get a visual on it and understand. It narrows down the ball, it almost makes it just a little bit smaller. And oddly enough, that seems an encouragement that we're going in, uh, putting a smaller ball into a bigger hole. Maybe that's just me. But when the ball starts to roll, when we eventually put this thing, that's when you start to see a real understanding of where the jack comes into play. There's not just an alignment aid, but very much as a training aid. Now for me to demonstrate just how good this alignment aid is, I'm gonna to need to attempt to try two different types of puts. One, which I think is a, a good put, and the other, not so good. And that not so good will try to impact some kind of side spin onto the ball, and it will demonstrate what it looks like. So standard address position, We've got some super slow-mo and let's first of all start off with a not so good putt. Now after a quick glance back I'm quite pleased that what we've done there is it's demonstrated how the ball runs off its axis and what that means is you'll see a very wobbly pattern and this will come very clear when I attempt to hit a more positive strike and put a forward end over end roll on it in the next putt we hit but as you can see visually I could see and hopefully in the slow-mo you can pick it up a very visible uh, notification back to me that it wasn't a very good stroke and that's where that training aid comes in hopefully at least anyway so let's have another go with a more positive stroke and hopefully i can impact that forward end over end roll which would clearly demonstrate what this does because 
I think this is probably one of the toughest videos we've tried to demonstrate the, uh, the benefits of this alignment aid, but we'll give it a go. So outside of the right lip, I'm now going to try and get a very square put, my normal putting stroke, if you like. Right, so watching that back again, we've done it. Well, at least I hope we have. You'll see that the ball rolls end over end and that pattern remains consistent. That jack remains center of the ball that was facing the camera. And you'll see that we've put the kind of stroke that you'd look to try and impact on your ball in a positive put. Now, I hope that made some sense, but it really is a key reason why this ball is so unique. But there are also a couple of things that are worth pointing out in addition to that. Now, this is another point that is really key for me. The alignment aid ultimately is just the straight black line, which is what is seen on every standard golf ball. One of the negatives that has been mentioned by a lot of golfers is some of the golf balls with maybe more elaborate lines, they take a little bit more time to get into position and to maneuver can also have an impact on slow play. But for me, the alignment bit is very, very simplistic and it is simply that black line at your direction. So nice and easy, nice and simple, but don't forget that bit that it narrows down the ball at the top and sort of encourages somehow, I don't understand why, but from a visual perspective, that ball seems that little bit smaller from where I'm looking at on the top. So today's video comes to you in association with our travel partner, Glencore Golf. And this week, they sent us off to Portugal, arrived in Lisbon airport, and then a short drive to Dolce Campo Real. The Donald Steele Design Golf Course weaves its way through valleys, mountains, and vineyards, and is a true test of golf in the most tranquil of surroundings. Breathtaking views from elevated tees and fairways that wind through a landscape arriving at well-protected greens. Each shot requires your full attention. A clubhouse awaits for post-round drinks, then relax into the modern hotel rooms, bars and restaurants, refreshed and ready to do it all again. For more information on this or any other golf trip you may be planning, speak to the team at glencoregolf.com. Now the final reason why I like this alignment aid over most is one that it might be unique to me, but I have heard other references when I've made comments on it before. And that's when a ball is on a tee or when it's on a green, then you have the ability to maneuver that alignment aid to suit your eye and the position that you want it to aim in that direction. Unfortunately, when that ball comes to rest on the fairway, obviously we can't touch them. And some of them, if I've got an alignment say that is pointing into those trees and I'm hitting down that way, it causes me all kinds of problems. The difference being with the jack, that no matter which way it sits in terms of comes to rest, it doesn't have any real defined line that is pointing in any one direction or the other. So even from that perspective, when it comes to rest on the fairway, it isn't messing with my eyes. Is that the right club? Oh, that set sat and stopped. And the one last thing that I'm gonna mention is just how good these balls feel. Super soft, key element for me, but also feel like they zip off those longer irons and woods as well. And like I said, I hate doing golf ball reviews quite simply because most of what your feedback is very subjective and I'm hard to tell what a ball is doing, certainly in those longer irons and drivers. The only thing I like to report back is how it performs in the short game, what kind of responsiveness I get. And that's the kind of reason I'd first of all buy a golf ball. And the second now is that it provides me with an excellent training aid and gives me some great feedback on just how good I'm putting or not. Right, hope you enjoyed that one. Thanks as ever for watching. Give me your feedback. Are you gonna give these balls a try? Have you tried the Seed SDX1 original ball? And would this new sort of marking alignment aid persuade you to switch up to these? Comments down below, give me your feedback. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.